what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video and yeah your boy has invested in a green screen um i want to see how this looks on the reaction videos uh i know we do the green screen reactions on our main page on the inner clutch page so i want to see how it would look on my personal uh page just for the reaction style video so y'all let me know down below if y'all liking the green screen look on the reaction videos or you're not liking it let me know i want to get y'all feedback and opinion but i want to definitely try it out on this particular video uh we're gonna check out 50 creative uh ways wrestlers countered moves this should be a very good one by tap out corner love checking out his videos go subscribe to him if you haven't already um it's always uh, a cool moment in a match where a wrestler looks like they may have the upper hand and the other wrestler is able to counter that move and prolong the match and sometimes it can be such a unexpected counter that it really adds that excitement and uh you know that the type of vibe of you really don't know who's gonna win you know so anybody can win so it's always good to have matches with good counters that makes sense so we're gonna check this out appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel and let's get right into this bad boy man you're about to see the craziest uh oh, oh no oh and funniest one was with this young man oh and there's one of the reasons <laughs> yep before he uh you know i'm not gonna say what he was involved in uh but just before the tattoos and stuff you know pale man as dub used to call him man before the tattoos and other things he was involved in to be counters of all time and for Roy Thunder, oh when you think of Dean Ambrose, the words clean and smooth don't exactly come to mind. No. However, those two adjectives are the best way to describe how Ambrose countered this DDT. Well, that question was answered. Dean Ambrose! Oh, that was tough. Wrestle nah, the, the, the fluidity of that, he held him up and then he hit him right into the dirty deeds. That was actually pretty tough. Those who fall under the category of fast reflexes are names like Ricochet, Rey Mysterio, mm -hmm. and even Randy Orton. However, Erwin R. Scheister should be on that list too. Watch how he dodges this clothesline. Oh, Eddie Guerrero was so smooth that was and precise that's not surprising he had some really good counters. During a match with The Rock, the great one was set up for a rock bottom, but Eddie did this. And the rock, look out! It's crazy, we're watching a rock clip and he's getting a, he's getting a lot of hate right now. A lot of hate right now. Oh, that was tough. Well, Eddie still didn't win the match, this next counter got him the biggest W of his career. At yeah. No Way Out in 2004, Eddie fought the WWE Champion, Classic Brock match. Lesnar. Despite Eddie's best efforts, it looked like Brock was about to finish him off with the F5. But then... Here it comes, Cole. That was tough, too. Arguably, the worst move to oh, ever get hit no. by is Rikishi's stink face. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Booker T had to just sit there and, and take that. That's that's cold. <laughs> nah, I'm just... Uh, that's cold, bro. Booker T had to willingly take that, bro. That's messed up. <laughs> Not many people were able to counter it, but Mr. Perfect found the perfect way to avoid having your nose go up Rikishi's crack. At the WrestleMania 18 pre-show, Mr. Perfect and Rikishi were on opposite teams in a six-man tag team match. Unfortunately, the perfect one was about to get the stink face, but at the last second, he did this. <laughs> the spear is a classic. I mean, it works. That works. <laughs> move that a number of different wrestlers have adapted as their finisher. Jeez. Rowan Reigns began using the move early in his career, and a number of wrestlers fell victim to it. Seth Rollins, though, wasn't going to be one of them. Splash. Reigns looking for another one. Yep. That was a cool... That was such a cool transition when it first happened. I was like, okay, that was dope. I did not see that one coming. That, that, was, that was definitely dope. It's cool seeing a move get countered, Jeez. but it's even cooler seeing a counter get countered. At the Vengeance pay-per-view, Carlito, Shelton Benjamin, and Johnny Nitro were in a triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship. The Apple Man from the Caribbean was going for a suplex, only for Benjamin to counter it into a neckbreaker, yeah. which was then countered into a backstabber. That's, that's cool. Unfortunately, Johnny Nitro stole the pin and the victory, but don't worry, Carlito got him back three years later. 
Carlito's got to make an adjustment. Oh, oh wow. Wow. A lot of wrestlers have been able to counter John Cena's attitude adjustment. Yep. However, Dolph Ziggler's counter is arguably the best. Looking to retain the championship. Oh, oh, what a counter. That's what? tough. As a matter of that's fact, that's tough. I love fluid moves like that. That is that be some of the most crowd popping, exciting parts of a match if you can pull off a fluid transition that happens to be a counter like that shit looks so cool and that definitely looked cool in fact ziggler knew how to get himself out of a finisher check out how he countered cm punk's gts yeah look at this ziggler is out cold went the goal. Yep. Ziggler countered. We have a new champion. you might not think kurt angle would be a master of counters but you would be wrong the olympic gold medalist can literally counter any move into the ankle lock yep. just watch <laughs> here we go yep this is a tough one Yep. Roll through. Right into the ankle lock. Oh, give me your leg. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Bro, Kurt Angle, man. He was going to find a way to snap your ankle. You could be. Putting him in a tombstone pile driver. He gonna slip out of there and get that ankle, bro. <laughs> About to hit him with a Batista bomb. He gonna slip out, get that ankle. <laughs> oh my God, get a Despite his size, The Undertaker knows how to counter a move too. Mm -hmm. At WrestleMania 25, Undertaker yep. fought Shawn Michaels in a showdown between the two greatest WWE wrestlers greatest of all time. After wrestling all time. for 30 minutes, Michaels decided it was time to go high risk. But unfortunately for HBK, it this did not such... pay off. A good move. I can, bro, like that watching that live him catching him into the tombstone pile driver position that was tough first of all they got to make sure this is right you know they can't mess this up and they just had like 20 minutes like 15 20 minutes prior to of actually giving the fans just some great action so the fact they pulled this off towards the end flawlessly was chef's kiss bro that shit was so cool and unexpected it was a very unexpected way to to pull off the tombstone man well that was spectacular this has to be the greatest counter undertaker has ever done <laughs> the super kick has a hard move to dodge as shelton benjamin found out yep shelton landing on his feet <laughs> Jesus. However, Perry Saturn demonstrated the proper and most effective way to counter a super kick. Took him longer to get up than it did to get down. Oh, Holy well, smokes, product kick. Side effects. I mean, that works. If you can dodge the kick and kick him right, you know, where it hurts them the most, I mean, it works. <laughs> To this counter include your opponent no longer being able to have kids. Rey Mysterio might be one of the shortest WWE wrestlers of all time, but his height actually led to some unique advantages. Like, look at how Rey won this match. Here's from the middle, turn back up! This is a young Rey. Mysterio isn't a one-trick pony wow. either. Check out how beautifully he countered this. Here comes Rey Jr. There goes Rey Jr. Whoa! That's impressive. Also, this might be the most satisfying crucifix pin ever. And it's crazy because Ray is like, he he doesn't really age much. <laughs> it's He's one of the few people in wrestling that, you know, he relatively doesn't look like he's aged that much, considering how long he's been in the wrestling business. Oh, my gosh. That's such a tough move. Bret Hart is called the excellence of execution, so you knew he was going to appear in this video. Uh -huh. At WrestleMania 8, the Hitman fought the Intercontinental Champion, Roddy Piper. Bret was beaten up and exhausted, and to make matters worse, Piper had just put him in a sleeper hole. The Hitman knew he had to end things fast and did this. What a wimp! Yep. The roll. In another big match, Bret Hart fought Mr. Perfect at SummerSlam. Bret was running on empty, and well, just watch. Nice block there, that yep. Up. On the canvas. He's turning him over. The now, be real with me. And that's that's a cool, cool transition to finish the match. Have you ever seen a pile driver countered like this? I 
I told you! No. Now, so. this counter was cool, but someone did, unfortunately, get hurt. At SummerSlam in 2008, John Cena and Batista had their very first one-on-one -on -one match with each other. There were a lot of cool moments, but the highlight of the match was when John Cena went for his signature top rope leg drop, only for Batista to reverse it into the Batista yep. bomb. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that is so cool. It looked like it hurt a lot, and that's because it did. The Batista bomb left John Cena with a herniated disc wow, that kept him out of the ring yeah. for three months. Goldberg's jackhammer. Nah, bro. If, if you go back, just just the impact alone. Leg just, chop, only for Batista to reverse this. it into the Batista bomb. Oh, it's that, that was a tough counter. It, unfortunately, it cost John Cena a few months of his career. You know, and anything back related obviously is, you know, should be taken seriously. But I'm not going to hold you. That still was a cool ass counter when I watched that live when it initially happened. Diamond Dallas Page decided to rewrite it. He's stuck it up. Page, Page has got the counter. Yep. The green mist is one of the dirtiest moves in all of wrestling partially because the stuff gets all over your face. No one has ever been able to counter the mist. No one except. Apparently, since we just saw Cody and Shinsuke, um, had to update y'all on some unfortunate booking decisions, more of them. Apparently, Cody and Shinsuke, as of me filming this, uh, before Monday Night Raw, supposed to be reigniting their feud again. I think it was at a, a recent house show. You know, and Cody's been getting so much love on social media. And uh, as Cody's coming back into the back area, he gets sprayed in the mist by uh, with the red mist by Shinsuke Nakamura again. I don't care. A lot of people don't care. In the comments of the video on the WWE Instagram and Twitter, all you saw was people talking about what wanting Cody to be in, in the main event of WrestleMania 40. No one cares. I just had to make that point because... We're talking about the Miz spray and Shinsuke and Cody showing up on the screen. No one cares. All right, I just want to get that out there. Except for one man. One dead man, that is. Early in The Undertaker's career, the Phenom found himself in a match against a wrestler named Quang. While Quang. the referee wasn't looking, <laughs> Quang sprayed the dead man with green mist. Not However, Quang. Taker actually caught the mist in his mouth and sprayed it back at his opponent. I don't know if this is awesome or wait. disgusting. How, wait, hold disgusting. on. Disgusting. Mist in his he wasn't looking, Quain sprayed the dead man with green mist. However, Taker actually caught the mist in his mouth and sprayed it back at his opponent. I huh? How does that happen? <laughs> what? I, I'm trying to figure out how that, how that even worked. I don't, you spitting my mouth, I'm spitting yours? Like, what's going on? Hey, yo. <laughs> I don't know if this is awesome or disgusting. Some things are just physically impossible to do, unless you're Brock Lesnar. At WrestleMania 30, mm. the Beast competed in his biggest Let's match yet against this. The Undertaker. <laughs> the dead man hit Lesnar with a tombstone pile driver, and yet Brock kicked out. But that's not what was impressive. Undertaker then went for a second tombstone, only for Lesnar to flip around, hoist Taker on his shoulder, get him into position, and then deliver an F5. Uh, uh, the just phrase leave RKO that from out of nowhere is iconic <laughs> yeah, because Randy Orton can long. literally counter any move with an RKO, whether it's a choke slam, Damn there. a curb stop, oh. a moonsault, even a shooting star press. Me. Oh, one of his greatest RKO's out of nowhere. That, oh, 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 that Evan Bourne one. Just lives rent free in so many people's heads. And you understand why. <laughs> However, there are some even more spectacular counters Randy Orton has done. Like denying Roman Reigns the Superman punch. Reigns. Yep. That was a cool one too. Or when the Viper countered Roman Spear. That was a cool one too. Matt Riddle would actually borrow this trick five mm -hmm. years later. Yep, and smack down, yep. However, the RKO is not unstoppable. Several wrestlers have found some creative ways to avoid the deadly finisher. In fact, some wrestlers are just immune to the RKO, like Keith Lee. Absolutely incredible. He couldn't oh, hit him with it. <laughs> Mustafa Ali had a pretty sick way of carrying the RKO too. Randy Orton spins him around. 
Well, our going yeah, low. This that, counter, that though, was cool. actually cost Randy. In late 2010, the Apex Predator had just successfully defended the WWE Championship when The Miz came out to cash in his Money in the Bank mm -hmm. contract. Despite being hurt, it looked like Orton was going to hit the RKO, but... RKO attack! Now, this might be the most beautiful counter in- Ah, so many people. Especially that little girl that was in the audience. Her face told the story. <laughs> Her face of displeasure that The Miz was the new champ. Like I said, that's that's another moment that will live rent-free in so many wrestler, uh, wrestling fans' minds. In this video. Oh my god! That's cool. Sheamus' cool. bro kick is one of the most explosive WWE finishers. However, the best use of it as a counter happened at WrestleMania 37 when the Celtic Warrior fought Matt Riddle. Riddle was getting ready for a springboard when all of a sudden, yep, right here, second. bop. Oh, oh my Throughout God. this video, we see Roman Reigns on the receiving end of some gnarly counters, but the head of the table has to shout a few of his own. Ooh, on Raw in 2014, Roman was in a six-man tag team match, and one of his opponents was Cody Rhodes. At of one course. point, Cody attempted a disaster kick, but got a punch instead. Now Cody Rhodes went for the AJ Styles is another wrestler who has some good counters up his sleeve. Mm -hmm. At Money in the Bank 2019, AJ and Seth Rollins fought in their first singles match against each other. On top of that, it was for Seth's Universal Championship. AJ was going to need to do something spectacular if he wanted to win, and he did. Yeah, that's tough. Oh, he's got him. That's tough. AJ somehow managed to top that just a few months later when he pulled out this mm -hmm. during his match with Ricochet. Looks to launch himself. AJ yeah, that's... Ricochet into the, the room for error in that is very small to make it look fluid, make it look like it makes sense. It doesn't seem convoluted. And as you heard from the crowd reaction, they were lit from that. I mean, it was good. However, the phenomenal dope, one uh, has counter. also been on the receiving end of some counters. Hey, yo, yep. Oh, Spear. RKO. Oh, Even Shane McMahon got one over on AJ yep. Styles. However, the hardest hitting counter AJ Styles has ever received came courtesy of Jesus. Drew McIntyre. Styles is locked on to McIntyre. Styles. Oh, oh. My God. On an October episode of Raw, Elias and Chad Gable locked up for what everyone thought would be a forgettable match. Elias and Gable, though, had something planned that would shock everyone. Getting his knees down, but Gable from the top oh my just God. ate a knee! When Grayson Waller and Edge faced off on SmackDown, <laughs> Ilthic Waller dodged a bullet when he avoided a spear. However, Edge had a plan B. Well, we've seen this before, Cole. Waller, let's go! That was cool. While all these counters were amazing, this one was truly one in one million. At NXT TakeOver, yep. Ricochet fought Animal. I already know. I watched this live. I lost it. I just completely lost it because I the timing on that had to be impeccable. You'll see what I'm talking about if you haven't seen this clip before. Cole for the North American title. Great the match. one and only had the advantage. Fantastic match. It was going to capitalize match. only to get stopped dead in his tracks. To see that counter, watch the video on screen. Nah, man. And I, I like how you set it up for the, for the, you know, for you to check out the, uh, his other video, man. But that was great, man. That was, um, truly fantastic, man. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's something about some good counters that can, you know, they'll be memorable moments in that match, you know, and sometimes it can make it your favorite match. Just a, a real good fluid counter as that excitement to the overall story you're trying to tell. Two competitors doing whatever they can to outwit each other to win the match. I'm all for it. But comment down below. Let me know some of your favorite uh, wrestling counters that you've seen over the years. It doesn't have to be in WWE. It can be in WCW, New Japan, or even AEW. Let me know if they weren't listed on this video. Also, let me know if you guys are enjoying the green screen. Me personally, I definitely am liking this and uh, um, I want to really incorporate this um, in some of my future reactions. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about the green screen as well. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150K and I'm seeing you on Speedy YouTube Wrestling Shepherd World. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.